In this video, I want to cover some of the challenges you may face when dealing with old cars and their radiator coolant hoses. Now you're going to have to remove hoses when the hoses are rotten. You may have to remove a hose when you need to change a water pump or the hoses will have to come off if you have to either repair or replace the radiator. And sometimes you can run into a real challenge trying to get some of these hoses off, particularly on cars that are 15, 20, 25 years old. Maybe the hose has never been off and you'll loosen up that clamp and you'll try to grab a hold of the hose and pull it off and you go, what in the world? Is this thing glued on there? Those of you who've worked on old cars before know exactly what I'm talking about. So let me show you one of my favorite tools when it comes to dealing with stuck radiator and coolant hoses. This is a water pump off an old Mercedes diesel, the water pump housing. And there's this little short hose that connects the water pump housing to the thermostat housing. And I've already loosened up the top uh, clamp and I'll show you why it's so hard to get these hoses off sometimes. It's due to corrosion. The corrosion forms around the aluminum parts and then almost glues itself to the rubber. And that, it, so when you loosen up the clamp and try to pull this off, it's not, it's not going to come. So now let's see how to get this bottom section of the hose off. When you do loosen up the clamps, make sure they are totally loose. And if possible, uh, get them out of the way. In this case, I just have to move it back. And enter my radiator hose pick tool. You see the unique design to this? It comes down and angles and then it curves back into a sharp point. And watch carefully as I show you how easily it is to remove a stuck radiator hose with this tool. You just, and you've got a couple different angles that you can come at, but you just take the pick and move it down into the hose like this. And once it's in there, then you start moving it in a position around the hose and then you can tip it over. Or in this case, you would move the tool to the back side put the tip in and eventually you'll break it free and you can just easily pull the hose off. See how neat that is? Once again, look at the amount of corrosion. That's what's causing the problem in the first place. Now let's go back to my 190E here and I'll show you how I'm going to use it on the 103 engine. I want to replace the thermostat in my 190E. So I've loosened up the hose clamp to the thermostat housing and I grab a hold of this hose and it literally will not move. I could pull on it and twist it and turn it, but it is stuck. So enter my favorite radiator coolant hose tool and watch as I put this sharp edge, you kind of kind of work it in there and then I can move it around to this side and move it around to this side and eventually, there it is, see it's broken free, but guess what? Anybody want to venture what might happen if I just go ahead and pull this hose off? <laughs> That's right, I'm gonna have coolant all over the ground and I'm too lazy, I'm just too lazy to drain the radiator. So let me, in the next video, show you one of my favorite tools to prevent having to drain the radiator when changing a thermostat.